Hi. <laughs> hey guys and welcome to a brand new Q. I can't. It's been a while, guys. <laughs> it's been uh, it's been a hot minute um, since I've talked to you, and frankly, that's quite sad. It makes me sad. It makes me upset that I haven't talked to you guys in so long. And I'm sorry, you know. I I I'm sorry. Things they just they just get away from me these days, you know. And <laughs> but yeah, in all honesty, guys, I apologize for the long wait. Um, but um, yeah, things have been hectic, guys. Things have been hectic when it comes to school. They just hit you with the workload, man. It just hits you with the workload and this stuff you have to be doing, and it gets all in the way. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of time left over for videos. And I'm one lazy bastard. Lazy. <laughs> but I'm back. I'm back and I'm ready to be making some more videos. Hopefully. Um, yeah, let's hope. Let's let's hope. But I thought what better way to kick off coming back and making new videos with a Q&A. Now, obviously, they have some videos planned that I've also shot already. But I wanted to come back with a QA and and I asked you guys on Twitter to ask me a few questions so I can answer them in this video. And you guys did that. So let's get into some of the questions. So here you have a question from my buddy Mike over at Triumph Visual who says, What's the most exciting new feature in hit films since your last video? Now, a while ago, I stopped making hit film tutorials and I've been focusing on other things. But I have been obviously keeping in touch with the hit film guys and checking what's going on over there and I obviously still do use hit film from time to time and if I had to pinpoint one feature it wouldn't actually be a feature in hit film it would more be the features of emerge pro which came out that from FX home as well that's a really cool piece of software to see and I've always wondered since hit film express the first one came out I've been thinking over time that you can use hit film um, to, to you know edit pictures and alter pictures and stuff like that it's, just, uh, it's almost like Lightroom in a way obviously not exactly the same but sort of the same and when they came up with Emerge Pro, it fully realized that type of vision, and I thought that was really cool. My buddy Grant from Film Learn and asks, "What have you? What? Have, what? Have, what have you been up to, you bum?" Well, Grant, <laughs> I swear, I've been up to uh, I've been up to quite a bit of things, mainly school things. Um, living my best life. <laughs> No, I have been living my best life. Uh, but yeah, lots of things. But hopefully I'm back now. Uh, I've been watching your videos, dude. Talk about Grant. Respect, okay? Respect. For one guy, if there's one guy on the internet who always consistently delivers, it's Grant. Making videos, doing his best. Doing the most out of all of us. It's you, Grant. It's you. I've been watching your videos. That's what I've been doing. Um, Fera Film says, glad to see you coming back, buddy. It's not a question. But uh, glad to see you uh, see you as well in the camera lens. Um, Kyle Imus, I'm pronouncing that right? Probably not. But he says, whatever happened to your short film, bro? Well, speak of the devil and he shall know that. That's weird. Um, what happened to my short film? Well, just before I uploaded this Q&A, I did upload a short teaser onto the channel. And I know the short film has been coming along for quite a while now. I've been speaking about it for months. If you think about it, well, I've been dead for months, but I've been speaking about it a lot before that as well. And I've been working on it and it is coming out. It is done. It is complete. The teaser is on the channel right now. It's a short little teaser. Um, actually, you know what? I could roll it now, but okay. I will leave the link to that teaser on screen right now. So go check that out. It's very short because obviously short films, you don't want to spoil a lot of it. So you do your best to maneuver around that because I don't want to show you guys too much. I want to get just a little bit of a tease going. So check out the teaser. Tell me, you know, tell me what you think. And it'll be coming out soon. Very, very soon. Like in the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. Ah, the Solo Samurai. I know who this is. This is my buddy Chris. He asked... You up for another collaboration, a filmmaking one, not food this time. Not food. I like food. I, I, I like food, you know. But uh, yeah, dude, I'm always up for a collaboration. Uh, as I said, things have been a little bit busy. Um, but uh, hopefully we can we can do one in the future. Um, oh, here's another question. What do you look forward to making now that you're back? Oh, and welcome back. Regards, Chris George. Thanks, dude. Wow, what I look forward to making. Uh, I look forward to releasing my short film, making more video essays, and making more filmmaking tutorials because I've been thinking a lot about things and I have some new ideas I want to start implementing around the channel. Um, I w definitely want to do more ResFX action episodes because I really enjoy making those. And uh, obviously the video essays because every single time I watch a movie, my brain goes crazy. It's overactive and there are ideas flying around all over the place. And uh, sometimes I write those ideas down and put them onto video. Um, 
and they, uh, what's presented is a video essay. So hopefully I can make a few more of those. Sid, Sid Hunter Mishra, I can't pronounce that name. He says collab with James Charles. James, who's James Charles? Oh, he's a style, a style YouTube. Why would I collab with a style men's fashion <laughs> YouTuber? <laughs> this is obviously because of my hair tutorials on my channel, obviously. Check them out. <laughs> I don't have hair tutorials on my channel. Um, Run a movie says, not a question, but it's nice that you're back. That's not a question, but thanks, dude. Um, I will see you around, so that's nice. Uh, Phineas Films says, Phineas Films. Also see him around. It's nice to see recurring faces, you know. What's the best way to select the best take when you did like 30? How can you tell which one feels the best in the edit without actually editing it, editing it, editing, blah, 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 editing it in? can't speak and seeing if it's right that's a good question so what he's basically saying is when you're filming on set you obviously take a bunch of takes so if you have like 30 different takes how do you pick the one that's the best now I, I hate this process when it comes to post-production sorting through all the different types of shots that I have all the different takes all the footage organizing all of that it's one big headache it's a huge pain I don't like it I don't I'd like to get it over as soon as possible but when it comes to selecting the best take I probably don't have the best way of doing this because lots of times what people do is they have a layered timeline. So they have two different timelines and then they have a clip over there and they'll different they'll just slot in the different clip over and over again and just see which one fits the best and which one works the best of the viable clips that they've sorted through. But obviously you said without actually editing it edit, editing it in every single time. So I have to admit, I don't edit it in every single time. What I do is, I watch through the different takes, and if I see something I don't like, I immediately get rid of it. The, way, the reason I do this is because if I keep like 16 different options that aren't, I'm never gonna be able to decide. So if I see something and I don't like something, boom, it's gone. And then if I see something and I like something, I keep it aside. But the minute I see something I don't like, boom, it's gone. Don't delete it, but I put it in another folder and get rid of it or delete it off of the timeline out of the project so that I narrow my options down to about three, four, five different takes. Most of the time I narrow it down to like three, maybe two, and then with those two or three clips, I edit it in and check if they work. Sometimes I don't even do that. Sometimes I'm that lazy that on set, I already know which was the best take and I'll know whereabouts it is in that massive file. So I'll go and find that one, check if it works, and if it does, it does. I'm not an Oscar director. I am not trying to win a Golden Globe here. I am not focused on finding the absolute perfect take because you're never gonna get that. What I do is find the one that I like the best, put it in, and who knows, if a few seconds after that there was something a little bit better, it's probably only gonna be a bit better by like an inch because if I find something I like, I know what I like. I put it in, it's over. Don't listen to any word I just said because I probably don't do it the right way, but you do you, figure out what works for you. But uh, definitely, if you see something you don't like, discard it and then keep moving along. Because if you keep holding up and there was something nice here and there was something nice here, you can't merge those two. So just get rid of both of them and find the one that works the best overall. I don't know, that's, that's what I would say, you know. But what the hell do I know? Sponsored by Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I wish. I'd get really fat if I was sponsored by Krispy Kreme. I want to get one of those black cards, you know? Those cards where you can go into the store and swipe it and you can just buy whatever you want. Imagine you'd be the coolest guy in school. It's like you're walking with your friends in the mall, a whole bunch of you, and everyone's like, oh, let's go eat. And you're like, yeah, let's go to Krispy Kreme, guys. I'll get you guys coffees and, 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 and ice drinks and, and, and donuts and, and everything you want. And I'll pay for it with this handy black card. Krispy Kreme, please sponsor me. I want a black card. I want one. Now I got myself excited for nothing, man. Why do I do this? Okay, final question we have from Sid, Sid Hunter, the same guy from before. I'm sorry, dude, I can't pronounce your name. Sid, Sid Hunter Mishra. Someone who has, a, if I'm coming from someone who has a name that a lot of people can't pr pronounce properly most of the time, I understand, dude, I understand. What made you start learning VFX? I've answered this question before, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna answer it again, like a complete dinkus. But uh, what made me start uh, getting into VFX is, when I started making short films, started going into filmmaking, I started watching videos. And the videos I'd watch 
had VFX aspects in them. For example, I started watching Grant's videos from Film Learning, and I loved his sketches at the start because I was interested in making my own sketches. And I skipped through the rest of the tutorial, not watching the VFX parts, and eventually I started watching the VFX parts, and it became the next logical step in my filmmaking journey, essentially. So, you learn about sound, you learn about scripting, you learn about stuff, and eventually you're like, hey, let me dip my toe and feel if it's nice in the pool of VFX. And eventually, you start watching VFX. So I watched a bunch of tutorials, mainly Grant's videos, because he's obviously got like really good videos, so check him out. And um, uh, I'll even, I'll link his channel below. And it's obviously, it's on my page also. And I also watched Film, film Ride videos and a whole bunch of other VFX tutorials. And then I started learning it myself, got into Headfilm Express, which is obviously free, which is easy to use also. And um, yeah, I started making my own VFX. Then I felt, uh, you know, when you have, uh, you get to a point where you're like, whoa, I'm the boss. I'm gonna start making tutorials. Idiot. Um, and then I started making tutorials, probably crappy ones, but I tried to tried my best, you know, it's on my channel. Um, and yeah, that's how I got into VFX. It really, it did a lot for me, VFX, you know? It brought me a long way. And while I'm not really doing VFX tutorials anymore right now, I still do VFX from time to time. And this question escaped me. How did you get into VFX and suddenly I'm talking about the meaning of VFX as if it's a deep, deep question of life. Do you see how much my brain works? It's too, it's... I swear I have too much fun making these videos, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a like down below as well as share it with all of your friends, your mates, your cat. Don't forget the cat, man. And um, yeah, check out some of the videos on the end screen of this video. It's good to be back. It feels nice to have these lights, to have uh, the, the microphone and the camera in front of me, to be sitting here talking to you guys. It's it's nice to be back, and uh, I hope it lasts. <laughs> I hope it lasts. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Look out for that short film also. Short film's coming soon. Check out the teaser. There'll be a behind the scenes coming out also, and, and a video essay. I just spoiled my whole lineup of videos right now, but uh, all for you, you see, all for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.